Another thing that I would like to do with this trailer is build a swing out ramp for this end. I've already got two pieces of angle clamped here. I would like to use this end of the trailer as a jig for welding the swing out part together but I don't want to weld the swing out part to the trailer so I've created a bit of a gap using some spacers so I've got uh, some angle here and also here and it's underneath the uh, part of the angle that I want to use and then clamp down and uh, this end was a little low so I'm using a, a wood shim to raise it up a bit and uh, here also I'm using a uh, spacer here and under here and then clamp down same thing same idea over here so the spacers underneath create a bit of a gap and hopefully that gap is going to be enough to help prevent welding the swing out part to the trailer itself I'm getting ready to weld the top part so somewhere in this area I burnt through with the welder and then I fixed it with the welder but I'm thinking if it's going to stick to the uh, trailer frame it'll probably be in this area here somewhere so that corner is already welded as well so I don't know yet if this thing is going to stick to the trailer I've got a hammer and chisel ready apparently not So it's still not finished, but it's to the point where I think I'd like to attempt to make some hinges for it now. And so I uh, spent a bit of time trying to uh, even out the frame from one side to the other. And it turns out that side, the leaf spring is sagged out or something. So I've got it shimmed right now. And it's pretty close now from side to side. And I thought that was kind of important to try and get this fairly even and uh, this distance now from side to side is very close close enough that I think it's okay to uh, try and make the hinges now this is what I want to use to make the hinges so I have enough here to make two hinges and I think I'll put one more hinge in but uh, this is all the material I have right now it's just DOM tubing and a bolt fits through it nicely So I'm using these temporary angle pieces as a stop for the uh, swing out ramp to uh, line up with the frame. And so what I've done is I've got a spot weld from uh, this center piece to the uh, swing out ramp and then the, uh, the end ones I've got it spot welded to the trailer. So I'm not sure how this is going to work, if the uh, geometry is going to be uh, reasonably good or... So I'll take these pieces off now and then uh, swing this open and see how it looks. So it's close but I would like to make some changes. So one of the problems right now is the ramp is actually not on the ground. So it's interfering. There's some uh, weld interfering right here. I could uh, grind the weld off but I don't think that's still 
going to be adequate for sometimes if the trailer is on uneven terrain that it, it may still not be enough. See this side as well. A bit of weld contacting right there. So and I, I think I would also like to move the hinges inwards a ways because uh, where the hinge is now it may just be interfering with what I want to load onto the trailer. Oh, there goes my weld. <laughs> so much for my spot weld. That comes off right there. Okay. Okay, so it's getting late, guys. It's starting to get dark outside. 